Hi, Terry the Army Elephant here. And we have your devotional. And I just want to remind you that bingo today is um, eight, nine, ten, three hours later than normal. And remember, we're awarding the three winners, and then the fourth winner gets a read a bag. Okay, so. This is for July 25th, and it's called Lost But Found. What man of you, having a hundred sheep, if he has lost one of them, does not leave the ninety-nine in the open country and go after the one that is lost until he, found, until he finds it? And when he has found it, he lays it on his shoulders, rejoicing. And when he comes home, he calls together his friends and his neighbors, saying to them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep that, I was, that was lost. Just so I tell you, there will be more joy in the heaven over one sinner who repents than over 99 righteous person, persons who need no repentance. Luke 15, 4-7 For the Son of Man came to seek and save those who are lost. Luke 19, 10 I tell you there is rejoicing in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner who repents. Luke 15, 10 these twelve Jesus sent out with the following instructions. Do not go among the Gentiles or enter any town of the Samar... Samaritans? 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 S-A-M-A-R-I-T-A-N-S. Go rather to the lost sheep of Israel. As you go, proclaim this message. The kingdom of heaven has come near. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse, the, cleanse those who have leprosy. Drive out demons. Freely you have received, freely give. Matthew 10, 5 through 8. Did you ever get lost as a child or your parents were suddenly nowhere nowhere to be seen when you turned around at the mall? At first, you're a little unsure. Then you start to panic and call out to them with a trembling voice. Later, you are crying hysterically, help, I'm lost. For you hear a mother anxiously calling her lost child's name. God heard the solitude of man and answered our cry of distress. He will continue searching until he finds you. Amen. Um, so let, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to do that to you guys. Let's see what Joyce has to say for the 25th. Strengthen your strengths. But in fact, God has placed the parts in, in the body, every one of them, just as he wanted them to be. If they were all one part, where would the body be? As it is, there are many parts, but one body. 1 Corinthians 12, 18 through 20. Aren't you glad that everyone on earth is not exactly the same? We all have different abilities, different preferences, different opinions, and different strengths and weaknesses. Some people are not confident in their uniqueness. Though... Some people are not confident in their uniqueness, though, and they try to do what others do well, even if they are not gifted to do so. 
this is sad to see because the those people have strengths of their own when they ignore their strengths and try to develop other strengths they only become frustrated if they resist the temptation to be like someone else they would rejoice they would enjoy their lives more i encourage you today to know your strengths and your weaknesses focus on developing your strengths and using them to serve god and others to the best of your ability god has given you your particular strengths for a reason and he wants you to make the most of them some people may suggest that you improve in an area of weakness but i say don't waste your time doing something you are not gifted to do that will require a great struggle for you to succeed if you need help in an area in which you are not strong God will send people to help you. Father, help me to accurately assess my strengths and my weaknesses and to grow in my strengths. In Jesus' name, amen. Wow. Oh, I got goosebumps. Well, those were the devotions for today. I hope that it hit home for some of you guys. Well, for all of you, I hope that there was something in there for everybody. Um, remember, bingo is three hours late because it's Mike, 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 Mike's birthday. And him and Sam are out on a date. So we'll do the bingo after they get back. That's why it's three hours late. So anyway, you guys have a great day. Be blessed. Bless you. And we'll see you soon. I love you guys. Take care. Bye now.